What is going on everybody? It is your boy Oso and welcome to a South Park Phone Destroyer tutorial. South Park just celebrated Randy's birthday by throwing a weekend event in the Phone Destroyer universe. And Randy is such a strong card in all themes. But in this video, we're gonna rank them from worst to best. Now, if you like these type of videos, make sure to hit the like button down below. And if you want more tutorials, make sure to click that subscribe button and check out my playlist on South Park Phone Destroyer right here on my channel. Now, which Randy will take the crown? Will Sixth Element win it? Let's get into the video. Starting us off in the number five spot is Sexy Nun Randy. Now, Sexy Nun Randy has my favorite punchlines in the game. Beat you like it's Sunday Take school. That, and back in 2018, when it was the assassin meta that reigned supreme and legendaries were not a factor, Sexy Nun Randy was a top tier card due to his quick hit speed and ability to spawn a choir boy, which was in the form of an assassin. However, Sexy Nun Randy became a victim when legendaries and epics were buffed and his value tanked through the floor. Nowadays, Sexy Nun Randy is only good in certain types of decks. He is most lethal if paired with Space Pilot Bradley due to Bradley's ability to boost assassins. However, if you have a sci-fi version of Randy at a competitive level, Sixth Element Randy provides way more value than Sexy Nun Randy would. Also, he is an even trade for spell removals energy-wise. Depending on your team more deck options, Sexy Nun Randy is a viable option. Other than that, it's tough to rank Sexy Nun Randy any higher than number five. Now, let's get into the number four. Randy. Amazingly Randy takes our number four spot. Now, Amazingly Randy is different from the other Randy because he's a ranged unit instead of a fighter. Now, similar to the show, he shoots from below the belt and springs two fighter cocks onto the field. He has a great damage output and great range for an archer. He is also one less energy cost than all the other Randys in the game at for cost. However, compared to the other Randys, his health is significantly lower and you have to protect Amazingly Randy because of how quick he can be taken out. Now he's good with the new card Nymph Nicole and Elven King Bradley kind of decks. And as a ranged unit, he is severely limited to more than just a support unit. Coming in at the number three spot is Pocahontas Randy from the adventure theme. He is a five cost epic fighter similar to Sexy Nun Randy. However, the difference between the two is Pocahontas Randy can spawn an Indian kid which is a fighter versus the assassin that Sexy Nun Randy does. What makes Pocahontas Randy really strong compared to his mystic counterpart is his great attack speed and damage output. He is definitely the unit that's gonna get the first hit and his DPS is definitely high. He is a great starter epic if you are interested in the adventure theme. But the downside to Pocahontas Randy, similar to Sexy Nun Randy, is that he is an even trade for spell removers. In addition, his wind-up animation to spawn an Indian kid is actually really slow to the point where it might not even take place. Now, Pocahontas Randy is great, but he is not better than the last two Randys on this list. So stay tuned for the next one. Now, the second best Randy is the legendary version in the sci-fi theme, Sixth Element Randy. Now, what makes Sixth Element Randy great is that his walk speed is really slow. Now, this is a good thing because you want him to help build your push towards the midline. 
and which makes him a great starter card because now you can kind of surround him with great units to help build that push. His attack damage is the best in the game and he also spawns Roomba units which have a lot of health. The only downside to 6 element Randy, well, I don't want to say only, but the downside to 6 element Randy is he will often be taken out with spell removals. And his Roombas can get in his way to a point where 6 element Randy will walk around the Roomba to get towards his attacking unit which you can surround him and he'll eventually lose the fight. And then last but not least, 6 Element Randy does have the slowest attack wind up in the game. But if you can get 6 Element Randy to competitive levels for your arena, he is a force to be reckoned with and a great centerpiece for your push. Now, did you guess who the best Randy was by now? If not, let's get into it. Taking the number one spot as the best Randy in the Phone Destroyer universe is none other than Mary Jane Randy out of the superhero theme. Mary Jane Randy is a five cost fighter who spawns plants that have a Zen Cartman like ability in which they will attract the enemy units to attack the plant instead of Mary Jane Randy which will help give Mary Jane Randy the advantage in this type of battles. In addition, his attack damage is high, the highest of the uh, epic fighters. Um, his reach is also long, but only downside to Mary Jane Randy, which is one, is that he will most definitely be targeted for spell removals. Well, that is the list from worst to best Randy in the current meta for 2021. What do you think? Do you agree? Disagree? Let me know in the comments down below. My name is Oso. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and check out my other South Park Phone Destroyer videos, including Team War videos with Chefs Elites. Hopefully I'll see you in my next stream right here on YouTube. But until then, I'll see you on those streets, new kid. Take care.